Hello friends and family and welcome to In the Kitchen with Leanna. I'm your host Leanna. Um, I want to first apologize for not being here for the past couple weeks. It's just been crazy at this house. It's I haven't been feeling well. Jim's had way too much on his plate. Not his eating plate, but his weather, weather and rabbits and... Oh, and we had babies this morning. We had two litters. We had one this morning and one last night. Oh, they're gorgeous. But anyway, um, I do apologize for that. We had to go pick up a refrigerator that I ordered back in November and was promised I'd have it by Christmas. And then January and then February. And so I ordered it from a different company because I really love this fridge. And we had to go, we had to drive, like, what was it, three hours? Four. Four hours down and back, and it, it was just an exhausting day. But I got my new fridge, and in fact, I want to show it to you. Can I show it? Sorry. Go, let's go see my fridge. Okay, and here's my new baby. Is it not beautiful? Um, we have pictures of our bunnies in it. Um, this thing does everything but cook the meal for me, and this is the fridge. It is just amazing. I have so much room. It's just incredible. I mean, I've got this big door, and i got two, two crisper thingies. And then down at the bottom is the freezer, which is full, all pretty much. But I just love this thing. It's just, that's what, it was worth waiting for. So anyway, I'm going to bring you back to the kitchen. And you got it for over $2,000 oh, yes. less. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got it about $1,000 cheaper than it was. It was on sale. Um... So, yeah. Okay. Let's go make some sandwiches. Okay. So, now back in the kitchen. I'm going to make tuna Monte Cristos because I was on Pinterest the other day and I found this recipe and I kept finding myself going back to it and it's like, I'd really like to make that. And I had a doctor's appointment today and it's just been another one of those crazy days. So, we're just having sandwiches for dinner and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my version of tuna Monte Cristo sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is I have a can of tuna and I just mush it up. I'm going to add some mayonnaise to it. Just a, a little. However you like it. I'm going to throw in some celery seed, because I love celery seed. Just however much you like, or if you don't like it, leave it out. But I think tuna and celery go well together. Or you could chop up some fresh celery and, and put it in. So, I'm going to take my cheese that I forgot to bring over. And I'm going to make three of these babies. And I'm just going to put a piece of cheese on each slice of bread. I have a thing about how the bread goes. I know I'm not the only one. We segregate, it, segregate our bread because Jim has wheat. Vienna has sourdough Italian. Because I can't have wheat. 
And Jim doesn't like weight, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some tuna on each one. I mean, not each one, but half of each one. <laughs> I diced up onions to put in there and I didn't put them in. Oh, yeah. Put them on the top. Your kitchen, do it the way you want. That's right. Okay. It's the way I'll do it. So what you're saying, normally you want to mix your onions, onions in. If you like them. onions. If you don't, leave those out too. We do love onions. We love onions. Almost as much as we love garlic. In fact, my onion order should be in beginning of May. Beginning of May. Um, of course, it's late when we get stuff in here in Maine. And for those of you who plant uh, onion sets, and you want to try something that works better. It's much easier to plant, I think, um, and an onion that lasts longer. Check out, and I'm not being paid by Dixondale Farms by any means, but try raising onion plants. It's so great. Um, I will never go back to planting onion sets again. Okay, back with Leanna. Okay, I'm going to just put some pickles on it. Some stackers that we made. The recipe called for sweet pickles. Yuck. And we typically don't, we, we make some, we make some bread and butter, but anyways, we do like the, um, dill. the dill pickles. And Leanna makes a lot of different types of dill pickles. This was one that I, <laughs> you're going to get shy. This is a recipe. You can have one of my. Yeah, I'm good. Um, this is a type of pickle that I had requested a couple of years ago. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to take two eggs, fresh out of the hen. I don't usually do this in a quiche dish, but I have to soak those babies in here, so I wanted them to have room, because I've never done this before. I mean, I've made French toast before, but not when there was a sandwich built. I just, hopefully I won't make a mess. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I ran out of pickles. And my helpmate went and got some. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to heat up my grill behind me. And, and then I'll bring you back. And I'll soak these and throw them on the nice hot grill. Okay, so... Got my eggs mixed up, got my grill going, it's got butter all over it. And now, <laughs> I've been dreading this, I'm going to try to do this nicely. And I'm going to use my clean fingers to turn it because I just think a spatula would not go well. I'm going to throw it on the grill. I'm going to 
and we'll do the same with this one. Never mind. Just gonna let them brown. Yep. Okay. okay. Let's try to flip these babies without having a wreck. Yeah. How'd you do, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> I know Andy's gonna be watching this when it comes to food. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. that couple. I do too, and I miss them. I gotta catch up on their videos. So many videos that I need to catch up on. Okay, so I'm thinking the sandwiches are done. Okay, and there we have it, Tuna Monte Cristos. Um, we'll let you know how it tasted, because Jim won't taste it. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love to have you part as part of our family. Smash that like button, ring the little bell, and have a blessed week and I'll try to get back here next week. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. God bless.